Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I have a new video for you guys. Today I'm going to be discussing the new mythical Pokemon Meltan. And it's biology and a little extra things at the beginning and end. Like for example this. Like we, I know some people didn't see this before but the Let's Go games are going to, you know, be part of Gen 7. And Melton is going to be part of the Let's Go game, so Melton is actually a Gen 7 Pokemon, not a Gen 8. With this simple fact, even Pikachu's little new girlfriend has a hairstyle from Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And the last episode with Necrozma actually showed a Pikachu with a with a Let's Go hairstyle. But anyway, let's get started with Melton. This is Meltan. Everybody knows the little guy that people. Well, this little guy. Everybody used to call him Diddle Nut. But it's. Biology is not like Diddle at all. Zoom out a bit. Meltan is his name. It is known as the Head Gun Pokemon. Steel type. Height and weight. Most of Meltan's body is made of liquid metal. And his shape is very fluid. And it can use his liquid arms. And legs to grow metal and absorb it into its own body. Melton generates electricity using the metal it absorbs from outside source, and uses this electricity as an elect as an energy source. And also, it can shoot electricity from its eyes. Clearly, a clear <clears throat> sorry. Clearly, a curious Pokemon. Melton is very expressive and shows an interest in all kinds of things. Now, let's get into the biology of Melton. Melton's body. Its body is sh in the shape, well, its head is in the shape of a hex cog. Its body is made up of s some type of liquid metal. Now, let's break down this adorable mind. Okay, before I get into the greater detail, let's go ahead and talk about Melton's head. As you can see, Melton's head is in the shape of a hex cog. In our world, the metal that makes up Melton's head has a lot of usage, not just for fixing or building things, and well, not just for fixing and building things. The metal itself, ignore the end, which is made of gold. Melton's eye is Melton. Melton eye in the metal in the middle of his head. It's like a small marble, but it's not, also not. To explain what its eye could be made of, I ruled out these materials for a good example. Iron sand or ferrium fluid or a flexible magnet. What is iron sand? Iron sand is a type of sand with heavy concentrated of iron. It is a type of dark gray blackish in color it is composed mainly of magnetite fe304 and also contains small amounts of titanium silicon magnesium calcium and vanonium what is ferrofluid um, well, to explain that, I need to explain Melton's body. Melton's body is a silver metallic color. Its cute jiggly body is made up, of, made, of, made up of liquid metal that can grow other metals and produce electricity. But how? Well, let's take a look at both varying fluid and liquid metal. Definition. Varying fluid. Varying fluid is a liquid that becomes strong strongly magnetized in in the presence of magnet fields very fluid or colloidal liquid made from nanoscale ferromagnet or ferromagnet particles surrounding in a clear in a clear fluid or in a clear uh, Pulsing and carrying fluid, usually a organic solvent or water. 
think of uh, those YouTube videos where they have fairy included and they had a magnet and it's like in a clear liquid and then you can move it around. If you have some fairy fluid in a clear tube and you have a magnet, you can pretty much move it around. It's good what I said. Liquid, liquid metal consists of alloys, which is very low, with a very low melting point, which from say eleutic, that is liquid a at room temperature. The standard metal used to be mercury, but gallium based alloys, which are low but low base in their vapor pressure at room temperature and toxicity, toxicity are being used as a repli replacement in various applications. Now, metals like mercury, which turns to a liquid a room temperature along with other metals metal alloys with other metal metals are important also some common metals are iron steel aluminum and copper these are metals that can transport electricity that is that is why it can generate electricity when it absorbs metals into its body also that that's why it its tail is a wire cord so it can transfer the electricity it absorbed. Also, once melton absorbs metal into its body, well, into its mercury body, the metal then sends an electric or electrochemic to his eye or to his head, and then shoot, shoots laser out of his eye. How how melton melton's little arms and Ali, and Ali has legs? can grow metal and the second reason it can generate electricity well that is an easy question the reason for that is called galvanic corrosion galvanic corrosion also called bimelic corrosion is an electrochemical process in which one metal grows perfect wait one second oops process in which one metal grows perfect wait one second okay sorry I'm back preferentially when it's when it is in electrical contact with another in the presence of an elect electro electrolyte a similar galvanic reaction is explained in primary cells to generate a electric a, generate a useful electrical voltage so basically what you see here is when metal corrodes into itself basically if aluminum or mercury touches another metal or if you grab a piece of both and you just hit them together like copper it will melt into the other module and conduct electricity charge, not just mm. aluminum. And mercury can do this. Many other metals can do it too. Also, when you hit them together, like I said, hit them against each one another, sparks will fly and you will hear a loud popping noise. Little extra mini theory. Since Melton is an ancient Pokemon and not much else is known about it, I came up with a little theory, of, of, but I could be wrong, but just kind of hear me out on this one. Okay, it's not a crazy theory, but I think I know how Meltdown was created. Now remember, I could be wrong. I think Meltdown was created by a blacksmith or a scientist for reasons unknown yet, but I don't think I'm too far off. But anyway, I think it's it was created by a blacksmith. But why do I think that? Well, because of its because its design. Not really it's not really organic, nor it resembles that of an ultra beast. Meltan looks melt man made. Now for those who don't know what is a blacksmith, 
A blacksmith is a person who makes it makes and repair things with iron, copper, gold, and mercury by hand. They use um, cauldrons to melt down metals to create all sorts of different things. The blacksmith gets something, like uh, gets some metals, some things like metal, other type of metals, copper, gold, all that, and coal. Then he or she heats up the coal to to heat up the cauldron with the metal inside. They keep going until the metal melts into a liquid into a liquefies. The blacksmith uses different molds to shape things he or she wants and then they pour cold water onto the hot metal after they bend it to their liking. Also, since it's an ancient Pokemon, that means it's been around for more than 500 to 10,000 years. And blacksmiths were believed to have been around since the beginning of the Iron Age, and that was around 1,050 years. But also, there were some blacksmiths in Egypt that know how to melt down metals and make things out of them. Melton is Melton. Its body is mostly made of of you know, it's mercury, and mercury was discovered in Egypt as well, well, as well in that dates back all the way to 1050 years BC, which is a long time ago, but anyway, blacksmith used all sorts of different metals, copper, gold, silver, iron, and even mercury to create weapons and other tools and items to help others. Now, alchemists were convinced that mercury transcended both the solid and liquid states, both earth and the heavens, both life and death. The symbol of mercury could also be used to represent the planet of the same name in astrology. Last one's back. Gold was discovered in the U.S., but it's been around for thousands of years, probably more. It is... It was originally used by and discovered by ancient Egyptians. Before you guys like tell me what you think about this, I have one more thing that I wanted to talk about. This is my team for Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu, or well, mostly for Let's Go Eevee. But uh, I'm going to try to make this short because I might change my team. First is Eevee. Squirtle, then Pidgeot, Nidoran, Meowth, Cubone, if I could get a Lolan Marowak through a raid, if not, then I'll switch out for Melton, and Mew. But, I might already say like a couple more names, so I might switch out Meowth for Melton, if I could get Melton early. But Mew is gonna be coming with a Pokeball Plus, and I already pre-ordered that, so, yeah, that's it. Tell me what you guys and girls think in the comments. Don't forget to like or subscribe if you like. See y'all later.